Today we're going to look at how to connect your PS4 controller to be able to play Fortnite and other games on your mobile device. Let's check it out. You got to be possessed with the dream. The dream. Four controllers have a pretty cool feature which allows you to pair the controller with your mobile phone together via Bluetooth. So, in order to accomplish this, we'll need a few things. First, we'll need a DualShock controller or any PlayStation 4 controller, and we'll need a smartphone. For this demo, we're going to be using the iPhone X, which is powerful enough to play any mobile game. The game we'll also be testing is Fortnite, one of the most popular games that's out right now. This trick works for most mobile games if they have controller connectivity and PS4 controller capabilities or Xbox controller capabilities that they're able to link to via Bluetooth. All right, first thing we're going to want to do is connect the controller to the iPhone. The way to do this is to hold the PS4 button down as well as a share button on the left side. The light on your controller will then go into pairing mode. And the way you can tell if it's in pairing mode is the light on the back of the controller will start to flash white. Okay, and from here, let's jump over to the iPhone. Once it flashes white, you should see wireless controller or DualShock 4 wireless controller on your iPhone. As you can see for me, it just shows up for wireless controller. If this doesn't show up for you, simply turn off the Bluetooth and then try to turn it back on and then try to pair it again. Once you click wireless controller, you'll be successfully paired up with the remote to your phone. One cool thing is you'll see on light on the back of the controller will turn a certain color. For me, mine turns red, meaning that I'm paired with it and it's good to go. Once we're all connected, we're gonna head over to Fortnite mobile app where we'll be able to test out the PS4 controller. So if you don't have the Fortnite mobile app, it's of course free to download. It will take up roughly around six gigabytes of storage, possibly more with the updates that come with it. This is also why we recommend using an iPhone X or one of the newer model iPhones to be able to handle both space and the computing power of the game. Once we get into the Fortnite mobile app, we're going to want to go into the settings feature just to ensure that all controls are aligned. The controls itself should be already set from what you already have on your PlayStation console. It will just carry right over and it should be good to go. Now there are a few things that were different compared to what I usually use on PS4. Uh, I use Builder Pro, so all the controls for the most part were pretty accurate. There were a few differences, however, just off the base of the Builder Pro configurations. I do not use any modifications or any different options when I play on PS4. I use a standard Builder Pro configuration, so if you also use Builder Pro, you probably will see these issues come up as well. And the first issue that I noticed is that the trackpad in the middle, which usually brings up the map, does not work. You have to actually hit the share button to bring it up. And it took me a minute to find it as I was still on the battle bus traveling. I couldn't figure out what it was. So I assume this is probably the same for most games that the trackpad is actually the share button as far as button usage. The next thing is the aim down the sights. So instead of holding L2, you actually tap it and then it will aim down the sights. This is one of the major differences in the controller as I like to hold the aim down the sights button when I'm using the shotgun and then build possibly after I make a shot. There were a few instances where I got caught a couple times in the aim down the sights mode because I was trying to hold it and I tried to click it one, two times and it just didn't work. So if you are going to go down into aim the sights mode, it's you sim simply click it and then click it again. Uh, you're not to hold it down. Again, it's not a huge difference, but it is a slight learning curve, especially if you're playing on PS4 consistently and then you try to switch over to the mobile phone. Of course, playing on mobile, you're gonna get mobile players who might not seem like they're very good, but it's because they're playing on mobile, which is pretty hard to do compared to a regular controller. So if you do use a PS4 controller, you should be able to take down pretty much everybody. And as you can see on the screenshot here, I my first game I played on mobile I got 11 kills pretty easily too I'd say about half of those players didn't even shoot back they were running around so uh, mobile is definitely a, a different game rather than playing on a traditional PS4 overall the gameplay was extremely smooth there's a couple delays in hitting a button but nothing that completely impacted my game or made me frustrated or wanted to rage quit and put it down as mentioned I was able to get 11 kills 
pretty easy. And then the final kill that I ended up getting was pretty easy as well. So if you are looking to slow the pace down in the game and PS4 has just become too hard for you, I'd recommend checking out uh, the Fortnite mobile game using your PlayStation controller. It does make the game a little bit easier. Obviously, the graphics weren't up to par. Um, I played on 30 frames per second, which I then adjusted the next game to 60 frames per second. So it, it's not a big deal, but it's just good to keep in mind that you are playing on a mobile server with a PS4 controller. So the competition is slightly easier and it gives you an advantage, especially when building against other players, which will typically result in high kill games. Now, I'm just going to let this gameplay play out. As you can see, I am nowhere near a uh, top player or anything like that. I'm pretty average at this game. You can see how many kills I'm able to get. So here's just a couple highlights from the first game I played with the PS4 controller on the mobile app. So that's how you connect your PS4 controller or the DualShock controller to your mobile phone in order to play games like Fortnite mobile with your PS4 controller. So let us know if it works for you in the comment section below. Also, make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and let us know what you guys think about this process. And if it's made Fortnite easier for you just to get a hang of the game before you actually jump into the PS4 servers and play with players that have been playing this for a long time. So until next time, we'll see you guys.